Hello YouTube. A lot of people have been uh, searching online for a way to do the air brakes or the speed brakes. As sometimes people call it on the Ultra Micro Striker, which I have right here. I have successfully done it on the DX8, and I'll show you the setup that I have on here so you can do it yourself. Uh, basically, I have two of the ailerons on the top two of the receiver there, and then I have. Um, the right side aileron, or sorry, the right side rudder in the in the furthest back uh, connector there. Just gonna make sure I'm telling you the right one. Yeah, so the the right side, which will be this one here, will go into the furthest one in the back, and then the left uh, rudder. We'll go into the one in between that one and the aileron. It's right in the middle there. And once you plug it up that way, you're going to go into your controller and uh, first set up your reverse. Make sure the reverse is alright. Uh, I'll just quickly show you what mine looked like. So one was actually the right rudder, which is on normal, and then the other one would be actually gear, uh, which I had to reverse. And then, as for mixing, first you have to do rudder to gear, and put all the minus 100, the right, both sides, and the offset. And then, on mix 2 you go gear and the right rudder and plus 100% on just the one side there uh, it could be either side depending on if you have to reverse it so just uh, check which side it is and that would be it I'll just plug this in and uh, a little demonstration here we have my rudder and then my gear switch would essentially be my air brakes. And I'd have a similar setup on the larger striker. Now you don't really need it with the small striker because it, I mean, it comes in pretty slow, but I mean, it's kind of cool to uh, kind of show off with, I guess. So yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. A lot of people have been asking online how you do it, and uh, a little trial and error, and I figured it out. So there you go. Alright, guys. See ya.